Hello everybody, I'm back. There is a, I guess, fourth part of uh, building uh, Linux from scratch. So we stopped on uh, make check and um, there is a bunch of uh, errors, but I'm not sure according to the web page, um, we're supposed to have some expected failures and uh, so on. So we just will hope it's it's good and uh, honestly i do not know like if it's fail tests what what i supposed to do how i supposed to <coughs> attack the problem so let's just continue to do things right so uh we did make check right and after make check we need to receive a summary so let's do it so it's not it's not too high right 41 out of uh, almost uh, 1000 uh, 10000 uh, tests it's not too high so um we need to install package make install so <coughs> you ever have no anyway um then so we are creating symlink we are creating another symlink then with LTO, okay. We do this thing to support LTO. So run some test, very simple test. We got this thing, and um, we are going to parse log, and we are supposed to see three these things. One I N, one I N. Then we need to check for correct includes. So also looks right uh, yeah because i'm building 64-bit version of linux so looks right so again search for path for lips <coughs> so and it's supposed to be it's supposed to be this thing let's me compare it user local lip 64 lip 64 user lip 64 user Unknown Linux no lib user local lib lib user lib looks good. Um, make sure we are using the correct libc. Can attempt to open libc s06 good and uh, dynamic linker. So it's slightly different, but um, specific difference in dynamic internet lips 46 directory in 64 bit lips 46 uh if output does not appear huh. once everything is working clean up and test uh test file cleaning up test files move a misplaced files so making directory and moving five yeah it was always complaining about this thing so it's going to this directory auto load nice so we finished with gcc next thing is zip so we need to remove gcc build and gcc uh 492 492 now zip to tar um xf zip and we need to apply patch np1-i np1-i zip install docs patch now symbolic link so what it does um it looks for a land blah 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 prefix bin and it's substituting this thing so it's removing prefix basically okay inside the make file okay man page also it's removing prefix oops copy paste and by the way what is the prefix Oh, it's empty. All right. Mm -hmm. Prepare zip to compilation with make clean. Warning, it's just a warning. And make. So run this thing. Run this thing. Next thing, it's package config. So, tar config. Um, wait a second, package config. So we run configure. So next thing is um, 
make, make, check, make, install. Make. Okay, so that's it. We're done with package config. Next and courses. And courses make. Okay, <clears throat> move the shared libraries hmm. from user lib to lib. Okay, it's fine. Then have the moon one simulink point to non existing file recreated. Okay, and uh, I have no idea what does it mean, but let's run it. Also, I don't know what is it. Copy. Do we need documentation? Uh, it should not hurt, right? Yeah, I think it's fine. So, and courses, and then utter. Oops. So, modify documentation directory. So, it's going to be with versions. Said. Then run configure. Then make test roots test. Okay, yeah, nice. I like colors, everything green is good. Make install, install def, install lib, then chmod, then moving shared libraries to lib. Okay, it's done. Targ f e c l. So again, modify documentation directory, then fixing some broken tests, fixing sec fault, interesting way to patch things, but yeah, run configure, make, make, there is a so many things, I have no idea, for instance, what is ACL, like Linux execution has a lot of tools, libraries, let's read description, access control list, hmm. libcap, just make okay installing the package then moving the shared libraries and that's it said tarik save said this is using it's basically normal way to build everything run configure make and make install but there is a some variation sometimes they add make check and sometimes it's like this and you know why we need to do all all of these things i i'd like to run only two things right make and make install like basically make install because sometimes you need to have root permissions so run make install as super user so why we need all these steps all 60 mm. okay make install <coughs> install documentation and so on okay, we're done with said so next we in shadow. No, I don't want to use strong passwords. So, so copy. Okay, use more better hashing, I guess. Okay. Make, make, install. So now we need to configure it, right? No, it's simple. How I can modify it? Okay, choose the password for user root. What kind of password for user root we want to have? Um, Linux from scratch. Linux from scratch. <coughs> Linux from scratch. Oh, I didn't know. I can use PS Mix. Ah, it's just PS. For some reason, they call it PS Mix. Okay. <coughs> PS Mix. Make, make, install. P 
proc ps uh, I'm screwed sources proc ps make and then test suit 7623 untested untested 8 10 5 8 11 looks good make install and then this thing e2fs prox support for file systems e2 so security issue then make dear build cd build <coughs> and then compilation Oh, okay, so looks like it's done and uh, it was check, right? So after check we need to run install install lips and uh, Make the install static live writable for debugger. Hmm. Okay, and then uh, unzip file unzip some file and Make some documentations. Okay, I think we're done, right? E2 So what next? Core utils. Ooh. Now we need to run patch. Prepare core utils for compilation. Prefix user. What? Oh. So I need to run touch first. Touch and then this thing. So this part is done, make 2.5, it's going to take some time. Nice, it's done. Now we need to run test suit. Wow, it's so fast. And then add the uh, as a nobody user. Okay, so nobody. Then we changing the permissions for for um, GNU lib. Then we switching back to nobody. Ooh, and running the test.
okay test suit is done so now we need to <coughs> remove uh, the main group and uh, oh ah okay and then install everything now we need location supply yeah so move all files in desired location head sleep and nice to also move these guys to bin directory and basically i do not need to do this thing because user and the bin it's the same partition but anyway <coughs> oh there is a tons of utils nice 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 actually i like this package core utils so lana hmm? i ana make make install simple okay so what is Ayana? Network service and protocol. Ah, protocols and services. Ah, okay. M4. So this is standard. Rigor, make, make, check, and make install. Okay, we're done with M4. And M4 it's for what? Oh, microprocessor. So next thing is Flex. Flex is utility for generating programs that recognize patterns in text. <coughs> anyway, so because we're removing Bison and Configure, it's going to be relatively fast. Make, make, check, make, install. Okay, this is done. Flex. Oh, we need to do something else. We need to move Lex. Make the sim link to Lex. Okay. So what flex is generating program? Ah, okay. It's sort of lexical analyzer, right? Bison, flex start bison. So it's going to be a little bit longer. So next thing is make install. That's it, it wasn't <coughs> too bad actually. So bizon so what next thing? Next thing is grip. So we need security fixing security issues. Then thunder thing configure. Pass, keep, fail, errors, triple, 
Bakre fail. Hm. So looks like it's failing on Linux from scratch. Yeah, it's something something wrong with locale. Uh, I don't think we should pay too much attention to this thing. Make install. Any, anyway, what we can do. Right. Ah. So next thing, read line. Read line. Oops. Mm. So we need to apply patch. And then... So, compile and uh, install. And also, moving dynamic libraries and uh, why not installing documentation. So we are uh, we'll be done with readline and now we are moving to bash. So bash requires patching 1.9. So now make so okay let's prepare test suits make test I don't know, last time it's, it's, oh, it's unstuck. Oh, okay, never mind. Okay, it's done, but I have no idea how to read results of the test. There is no total, nothing, it's, it's total bazaar. Why not? So now we are running new bash. BC. Uh, yeah, it's neat. It needs patch, so... Ow! So we need to apply patch. And now make. And now run tests. Nice, total failure is zero, percent of failed, zero. So looks good. R run install. Lip tool. So, standard procedure. So it says um, 64 failed and 59 expected failures. So there is a five unexpected failures, but according the books, according the book, five tests are known to fail. So we should be good. So my favorite tool. And 
and make install. That's it. Xpad. Xpad package contains stream oriented C library for parsing Excel. Ah. Good. And documentation. This one for basic networking. Create definition to build properly. Ah, interesting. Total 8, pass 8, make install and moving from user bin to bin. Okay, ping, hostname, if config, tftp, telnet, Perl, wahaha. <coughs> Okay, Perl is finished, which is kind of nice. Next is XML parser. We already have one XML parser, why we need more? Mm. <coughs> so, 
so what how i can get this thing some hmm did capital x yeah um so make file pl make make test make install okay auto conf next one this looks like make check takes a lot of time it says 3.6 So here is a <coughs> one unexpected failure. So let's see what did it say. Uh, it takes long time. Almost uh, the new 16 skipped, but uh, one test fails due to change. Okay, so it's expected by the book. How to make make and. <coughs> I have no idea what does mean X fail. So how much do we have? So we are now on how to make Diffutils, Gavk, Find and 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 so all of them relatively fast to build.
Oh, yay, it's done. And what we can, what, um, what we will do with it? Like there is a um, 41 X. What does mean X fail? Anyway, let's see. Check. <coughs> is it recording? Yeah. It is recording. So there is a couple tests. Install package. Make install. Okay, let's install it. And you know, next time I will not run any test because, anyways, what I can do? It fails. It fails, right? So next thing is diffutils. Something wrong. I think it was little bit slightly more. Oh, you know, there is a volume control kind of bad diffutils. So what we need? We need to fix something and run config make check i am not going to do this thing you know no way yeah okay i will do this i don't know i watched like a million different videos on youtube just waiting when it's going to done so did i run so make this time and make install so let's go for next thing xf gavk so config make and make install and then this thing install documentation it's done next find utils so config so what kind of sprung? Find code big ram locate <coughs> and even XRC. Hmm. So config make make install. Oh wait. Almost forget. So next thing is get text. Config 4.9 it's going to take it's going to take time unfortunately No way, it's done. Ah, <sighs> So did I run make? Right, make install. Install. And that's it. Next thing, Intel tool. Intel tool. Internationalization tool. Internationalization. Blah blah. Text. Uh, Intel tool. Mm, and uh, fix, make, make install, and uh, it's I guess for documentation. Next, gperf. This tool I'm not using very often. Um, ah no, it's gperf. It generates for hash uh, hashes. 
this tool I I even didn't use. I didn't use it at all. Install. Gerof for, for processing and formatting. What? So paper size. Hmm. So I want to because I'm living in US. I wanted letter size. Make and make install. So next thing it's XZ. Uh, e. Make and make install. Uh oh. So we're done with it. Next thing is um, grab. Yeah, we are grand unified bootloader. It's quite cool thing. It's like little OS actually. Okay. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Config. Then make and make install. So group grab I don't know how do you pronounce properly how to pronounce it properly um, so next is less make so we're done with less I guess next one is zip Make and make install and we also need to do some movement. Make install and we need to do this. Okay, we're done with the zip. How much we um, have? So I P wrote one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Not bad. We almost done. Star F P hold. So some sort of patching, make and make install. You know, from this moment I will time lapse everything why I need to describe uh, every my move, right? So I will time lap time lapse everything till like for all packages.
so <coughs> we back so we installed all packages last package was vim and we are going to strip all debugging symbols so uh, so let's log out and shoot again uh, shoot and then we are going to strip it's not stripping file format not recognized all right yeah it's yeah, i think it's fine that's it and cleaning up ow star now so now again log out and shoot again so removing tools and uh, now the fun part so uh, we need to <coughs> do scripting so like um, there is a explanation about init so we need to install boot scripts so sources where is it ah lfs boot scripts okay and we're just installing it <coughs> nice well it was very simple so device module module udf so it's just um theory so like how we supposed to troubleshoot this thing um network devices okay just let's run it <coughs> so let's see what inside here so there is a there is a one device e1000 okay Okay, CD-ROM, Simlinks. I don't need any CD-ROMs. Or oh, actually, yeah, I need. Okay. Okay, it's fine. Network configuration. So... Hmm... Can I do like IPv4 dynamic? Mm. You know, let's see what we have right now and just uh, do it. So I'm going to copy paste these parameters, some file. Uh, do I have Emacs here? Mm. Any text editor, text, G text. Come on. No, eh? Uh, AB Word? You must be kidding me. So, <coughs> so AVI. <coughs> so, what I need to do uh, if config it h0. T, this config, config dot th0. So, and here I need these things. And for IP address, I want. Uh, this guy um, so for gateway <coughs> I believe it's going to be 0 to 1 and broadcast is 2 10 0 to 5 looks good now I think I got all parameters from here so I finally I can close this ridiculous text editor ah uh, now um, resolve config your domain name name server name server really yeah okay so resolve resolve conf and like this domain linux from scratch why it's red Yeah, you know, it's fine, like this. <coughs> so, host name, yeah, let's make it uh, Linux from scratch. Um, hosts, I think I'll keep it like this. Um, yeah, probably I need to put local host. Oh, it's already here. Good. <coughs> so, I kind of trust this thing so I just copy paste this thing 
So yeah, why not? Okay. Configure in Linux console. So what I need to do is sysklog sysklog So I need to remove everything from here Kind of hard to read, you know So let's review this thing RC site RC site Oh, I cannot read this thing So I need to make it uh, brighter Yeah, this is better so no parameters, this uh, commented, 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 everything is commented, everything is commented, yeah, everything is commented. Sys, key, but this one, I think we should keep uncomment, right? <coughs> Emit UDF set of Y. So. Retry settle Verbose FS check So verbose FS check, yes Fast boot This not recommended, okay Yeah, I think it will be fine So what about bash? How about unicorn? Yeah, so I'm going to set up this locale. Where is it? Hmm? Yeah, I think it's fine like this, right? Should work. We do not character map and blah 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 other things. So we created input RC, keyboard mapping, key, shell. It's fine. Now making it bootable, so first of all mounting things, I think I'll do this thing and then edit it from VI, so SDA2, EFX4, I don't have swap, so SDA2, right, so and then SDA1, on boot and boot on <coughs> is EFX2 is it tabs here? no, doesn't look like that hopefully we good yeah, should be good <coughs> <coughs> so now we need to build Linux So, am I proper? I don't know what is it, but... So, good starting point is run make dev config, okay. Host lang value. I think I'm going to be fine just running make menu config. Let's see. Yeah, I think we're good. So generic driver options maintain DFTMPFS. Generic driver options. Where is it? Uh device driver device drivers, generic driver options, maintain. So it's set. <coughs> so that's it, we're good. Okay, let's, uh, let's run make. We should be good.
Oh yeah, it's done. So what next? <coughs> <coughs> so we run make and after make we run make modules stall and uh, also what I need to do I need to mount boot or FX ah uh, XT so I need to modify FS tab e uh, X so mount boot let's double check is mount directly right and it's mounted on on boot folder so now I need to copy the image here and also I need to copy system map and uh, config and also install documentation okay <laughs> so now we need to configure linux module load order yeah whatever just do this thing okay so I don't need to do this right so I need just run this thing okay good and then I need to create a config file okay the end so we do this thing and um, we do this thing your name here. okay let's put my name here and um, rebooting the system logout unmount so why i cannot unmount Ooh. grip linux from scratch ah because i'm in uh, i think it's fine shut down So what do you think? Would it work or not? Let's push reset. We should be fine. Oh, group works. At least group is working. So now we start this thing. Oh no. VM Linux 3.19 LFS 7 is not found. For some reason. So what is missing? VM Linux 3.19 LFS 7.7 .7. Hmm So let's insert Ubuntu And reset again So I think I... <coughs> what did I screw up? I think I should tell... Let's me read it up so have everything here and group config hd02 oh should be one like this hmm yeah definitely definitely something screwed up here config is not looking good but i was able to run group so Let's try to troubleshoot this thing. What did I do wrong? So... Stable Linux from scratch. Building, change log, introducing, creating new partition, mounting new packages, and... Um, stripping... Dun 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 dun. Stripping again. Where is it? Uh, chrooting, chrooting. Somewhere here. Yeah, here is it. So first of all, I need to mount it, right? Um, how did I mount it? Preparing virtual kernel file system. Oh, here is it. Mounting a new partition. Ah, web browser, Linux from scratch, torque, from mounting a new partition, so we do this thing, then we do this thing, so 
Uh, come on, to do so. So we do this thing, then this thing, and we make dir and SD two, also SD one boot X two. <coughs> so make dir turn 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 like this, like this. Okay. So now shooting. Where is it? Hey. Constructing temporal uh, mission. No. Yeah, entering root environment. Here is it. Tools being and yeah, right. So um, so like this. We here, nice. Um, so we screw up something with group, right? Ddf cd boot vi group group dot config. I think it should be one and one. No, this is two. This is correct. So I think second one was was not good. So let's see this last thing. Oh yeah, that's it. This simple mistake. Oh, uh, let's run it and run, run install again just in case. Oh. Error cannot find a device for gro boot group is def mounted. Right. Yeah, I think we should be good. For some reason, we cannot reboot. Just reset. <sighs> Why it's not working? Let me read it up. HD A01 Oh, okay, so I think what I need to do is So let me install CD again uh, This one, right? And uh, set So what I need to do, I need to move <coughs> to boot folder. So let's mount it and it's six four right. So sudo so cd media uh, six four sudo so four right. So make dir boot and move everything except boot config group to boot so we should be good let me un unmount this thing so for sure it will um, will be written on the disk and uh, just reset faster oh I need to remove this set error file group PC normal mode not found hmm. oh okay so slightly overdo things. Um, so let me mount again this thing. Reset. So I did. I should not move group. <coughs> yeah, it's easy to fix. So mounting this guy, and then the media Xbuntu and move back group yeah so now unmount this thing unmount and reset uh, reset <coughs> okay wow something happening LFS login ah root yes <laughs> So ping google.com ping mm, resolve config let's me set here a real name server so I'm going to take it from here hmm so oh 
I can use, you know, 888, right? Should work. 8888. Pink. No, network is not working, unfortunately. Yeah, but our things, all tools, <coughs> booting up. It's always things. Proc system, Vim. If config even shows something, but um, for some reason, is it fighting if config? Oh, wait a sec. Oh, this is wrong. Um, because it's in virtual machine and under NAT, so um, a NAT address is not correct. What it's supposed to be? DH. There is no DHCP. This config, config. So what are I supposed to put here? 192, 168. Just guessing, really. 122, 2. 2, 168, 22, 1. 2, 168, 122. Um, if pick th0 down. Uh, if down, I guess. Do we have this thing? Name if down. Hmm. So dash dash down. It is zero dash dash down. Or I can just reboot. Right. Root LFS. Pink it eight eight. No, it's not working. Yeah, anyway, so we made very big progress. So like we were three episodes just compiling, compiling, compiling. At least we have some running system. I just cannot figure out how to uh, set up a network. Um, but uh, you can see we have something here. Um, it says not. I can make it bridge the adapter and it's, it will work would work right let's try it like last last thing so um vi yeah, see this config um if config th0 and uh, here we need to put 10 0 1 15 10 0 1 1 10 0 1 and just reboot Yeah, so network is working. Um, yeah, so basically we cannot do anything in this state. Actually, we need to use uh, live CD to build some something to be able to uh, move uh, further. But like we covered everything for uh, Linux from scratch. And there is in our book, it's... Um, um, it's it's a beyond Linux from scratch BLFS. Come on. Yeah, looks like uh, the Bridget connection. I screw up, screw up my um, host network. Yeah, let's me let's me shut down. Um, right. Anyway, there is a uh, things. I don't know how to fix this thing. Probably I need to kill this guy. Basically what I can do, I can physically... So I just physically um, connect the cable and connect it back. So hopefully we got back network. Come on. Yeah, it's not working. What's going on? <coughs> Does it work at all? Oh. 
Looks like I just lost the internet connection. It cannot be coincidence, but like from our machine, I cannot ping Google, cannot access. So I might be did something which confused my router. Okay, I, I'm going to restart router. And also, <coughs> for some reason, my this uh, my C CPU is overheated. Anyway, I think uh, I'm done. And like there is a uh, beyond Linux from scratch. There is a book uh, I cannot show you because I lost internet connection. Uh, but um, uh, we need to install some extra uh, packages to to do things from. Uh, from Linux from scratch. Uh, one thing it's uh, we need some web browser to be able to no uh, navigate uh, pages and also there is uh, some nice tool um, to be able copy and paste between uh, virtual consoles, virtu virtual terminals and also we need some tool to download packages that you get. So basically we need three tools um, web browser, wget and uh, ability to copy and paste from uh, one virtual terminal to an hour <coughs> uh, and using having these three tools we we actually would be able to continue installing different packages like uh, graphical user interface like x window xorg uh, some probably uh, window management like gnome or kde or something more simpler uh, and uh, our different tools uh, but uh, this video it's about Linux from scratch and you you seen like I installed it and I was able to uh, ping uh, Google so network was working some tools was working uh, were working uh, so that's it uh, thank you for watching I got back my internet so this is beyond Linux from scratch probably I will make video about beyond Linux from scratch so thank you for watching and uh, have a good day bye